Second ever meeting between Florida State and Illinois State. Welcome to Dick Houser Stadium. Terrific night for baseball. Bryce Hubbard's second inning of work went one, two, three in the opening frame. Faces Joe Butler. Shortstop in the cleanup slot for the Redbirds. A couple of strikeouts for Hubbard in the opening inning. And now he faces maybe the, mo the best, if not the most experienced hitter in this Redbirds order. Well, according to uh, Steve Holm, he is their best hitter on and off. Uh, we got to see him take some BP, and it, it was a very impressive BP. Very loud coming off the bat. There's a difference between when he was hitting, when other guys were hitting. I, I could see him being a player that you will see probably take that next step and, and play at least in minor league baseball, and who knows what would happen after that. Three homers, 11 RBIs already this year. He's got that close stance. Hubbard flashed the curveball a couple of times in the opening inning. This time rips the fastball a little tight. That's a great pitch right there. He took him inside right here. Let's, let's take a look. Look at this pitch come right inside right here. Now, you're opening up so many pitches with that. All of a sudden, you know that he has that very good curveball, so you have to have that in the back of your mind, but also he can come with that fastball away, too, which is exactly what he did. Doug Vine says he did not go. Gets another chance. No, no, he didn't go. Good job. Hands to not break. Hubbard's in his freshman season from Windermere, Florida. Butler about to see the seventh pitch of the at bat. A put up or shut up start for Hubbard. Into center. Albert read it nicely and there's one away. Oh. That was an absolute frozen rope out there to center field. This ball gets smashed. Great job right there by Albert to be able to come in and catch the ball. Tough play because it's that low line drive. Yeah, he kind of handcuffed him a little bit because he was on a dead sprint knowing he had to get in there. He's got her Peterson. This one carrying back to the left field wall and a one hops the fence. Peterson with a stand-up double. First base runner of the day for Illinois State. For him, for Peterson right there, it's all about timing. It's all about timing. When, he's t when his timing is on, he has got tremendous, tremendous power. He's got, he's got that big leg kick. So, if he's able to get that foot down, everything works together. Where he gets into trouble is all of a sudden when that leg kick doesn't get down in time and he's a little late. But right there, it was perfect timing. Four extra base hits last week. He was named the MVC Player of the Week. Now a, another with the one-out double in the second. I think with Hubbard now, you're going to start seeing that curveball come into play a little bit more especially with guys in scoring position. It's a really good pitch, and it plays really well off that fastball. Caught the inside edge. I'm surprised we didn't see a little bit more of that against Joe Butler or with Peterson. He went right after him. But now with guys in scoring position, you're going to see where he's going to want to go. You're going to see what the thought process is. I'm not going to just give you my fastball. I'll show it to you, though. 0-2 from the freshman. That one whacked into center. It's a base hit. Albert coming up throwing. One hopper that throws a little late. And the Redbirds are on the board first. Fastball was supposed to be elevated out of the zone. He just did not get it up enough. A hittable pitch right there for Tyson Hayes. Does a great job. Doesn't try to do too much with it. Stays short, compact. Just like they work on in BP, it's a line drive right back up the middle. Here's the play at the plate. It's a little too late. Slides in for the score.
fourth RBI of the season for Tyson Hayes. Now it's the first base for Jake McCall. And when you say that is something they work on in BP, it may sound like what many other teams do, but in Illinois State's case, that is what they <laughs> are mandated to do in batting they practice. Really, they really do it. Because if not, you're not hitting much. Because if you pop it up, you're out. I saw We saw a couple guys go in for a round of five, hit the first one into the screen, or hit a little lazy fly ball. They're walking right out. So they really focus on getting those hands up, hitting line drives into all parts of the field. Head coach Steve Holm and the assistant Wally Krantzer were saying, yep, fly ball, and your round is done. It's like the old major leagues hit the fly ball, do push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see Wesley Snipes down there during BP. <laughs> Steve Holm is in his second season as the head coach at Illinois State. His team may have to take up residency here in Florida. <laughs> they spent a little more than a week in the sunset, Sunshine State. They go back to Jacksonville for a series this upcoming weekend. It's going to be a two and a half week trip away from home <laughs> once it's all said and done after this weekend. And, and people, people need to realize that it's not only being away for two and a half weeks. You're away from school for two and a half weeks, which means all the schoolwork needs to be done in a hotel. And they're having to take tests in a hotel, study in a hotel. It's not easy for these guys to do it. Kudos for them to get out there and be successful doing it. Elijah Cabell puts that one away. There's two gone. Illinois State left normal, Illinois, February 27th for a series. And they will return March 15th. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, whoa, we got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Look at this. Ooh, ugly. That's the speedometer right there. We got, I don't even know what to call that. We got a mohawk. A mohawk, a mohawk. some sort of creature. Some creature of, what is it, the Blue Lagoon? It's pretty, pretty early to have that, especially uh, when you already grabbed the lead. It's only the second inning, but hey, it's working, so can't fault him for that one. Kudos for knowing the national television schedule, <laughs> Illinois State. 1-0, it's fly ball down the left field line. It's bending, and it's just fell. That's awesome, though. Hey, a team that has fun does really good work. He got out just a little bit early. Good swing, just hit it right off the end of the bat. But with that being said, stayed really good inside, kept his hands close to his body. That's a successful swing. Just needs to let that ball travel a little bit more. Cermak has had a fine freshman season this fall. Uh -oh. Could not check the swing. Saw that one. <laughs> Good pitch, just elevated fastball. He saw it, just reacted just a tick too late. Didn't really want to get the swing going, but it was there. Strikeouts for Hubbard in the opening inning could use one here. Breaking pitch slashes too far inside. Tyson Hayes has Illinois State on the board with his run scoring single. 2 2 to Surmac. Got him swinging. Here's a third strikeout for Hubbard. But Illinois State takes a lead. Maybe thanks in large part to the rally cap. 
College baseball this Friday night on the ACC Network. North Carolina and the 11th ranked Duke Blue Devils. That's at 7 on the ACC Network. Also streaming live on the ESPN app. Games 2 and 3 of that series at noon later on in the weekend. It's the, yes, the 11th ranked Duke Blue Devils. Bryce Jarvis and Duke off to a terrific start. Took 2 of 3 from this Florida State team over the weekend. Yeah. Reese Albert to get things started in a second. Definitely a Duke team that has come along the last couple of years. They've been getting better and better and better. And what they've been showing, the starting pitching that they have is outstanding. The hitters that they got are doing their job. They're winning the close games against Florida State, winning two games by one run. So they're doing the small things correctly. And that's where they're at, where they're at right now. This is not the same Duke program that you faced while you were at Miami about a decade and a half ago. This program has taken major strides over the years under Chris Pollard. Major strides. Uh, when, when we were there, when I was playing against them, it was they, they, they didn't have the players that they needed. This one is juiced down the line. Jesus. If it's fair, I think that it, one is gone. It hit the circus. It hit the circus tent. Lee, what an absolute ball that was. Third homer of the season for Albert. Inside fastball, hands close to the body. Gets extension on it. Loud right off the bat. Look at the circus tent out there. It's hitting the circus tent. He might have to pay for some repairs. <laughs> and yes, there that is a circus tent. Three ring circus out beyond the right field wall at Dick Hauser Stadium. The FSU Flying High Circus. That is a someone is asking, well, what the heck are you talking about? There is a major at Florida State. We were walking by. You said that you wanted to be a trapeze artist. I know. I, unfortunately, I have a terrible fear of heights. <laughs> so it's, it wouldn't have worked out. It's so ironic for you. But yes, that is a. There is a major at Florida State for those that want to go into the circus. Change up right there. Dylan Simmons, take your base. So Florida State has now been hit by 972. <laughs> it feels like it. They're second in the country in total hit by pitches this year. Well, I mean, Cam Campbell's got 15, so. Wait. Reese Albert said, I'm not sticking to the box for too long to take one off the shoulder blade. I'm going to park one over the right field wall, and he did. Nander DeSades, the Panama City Panama native. Good off speed. And you have Martin in the three hole, Albert hitting in the five hole. Someone like DeSades can get going. This is a dangerous Seminoles lineup from top to bottom. I mean, DeSantis coming into this to the season, he was prospect number 58 in D1 baseball. So he was a very highly ranked guy who's being able to get drafted. It looks like he might be just putting a little bit too much pressure on himself, knowing that, hey, there is a draft that's coming along. You see his swing right there. It's just a little too big. He needs to just kind of settle down, take it easy, relax, have fun playing the game of baseball. was the highest rated freshman recruit in the class of 2009 of course he was drafted by the Brewers decided to play pro, uh, college ball at Florida State good backhanded stop there from Tyson Hayes it's not your traditional way of blocking the ball but it works <laughs> can't really do much when you 
throwing a fastball like that. Isn't that how you used to block him off to your right side? I did because I couldn't <laughs> get in front of him. I, mean, I wasn't a catcher. I got drafted as a catcher, started to play, and then they're like, hey, how come you can't block that well on that right, on that uh, opposite of glove side? And I've never done it. Well, remember, Steve Holm, Illinois State's head coach. Same. Same thing. Was a position yep. player for much of it. Part of it is all of his collegiate career was drafted by the Giants. And then all of a sudden there was some catcher's gear in his locker. <laughs> he started his pro career. He said, what's these tools of ignorance doing here? <laughs> I don't know about these. He said, well, you're going to start learning about them. So put them on and let's go. And he very well did. He Coach did. Hall spent a couple of years with the Giants as Benji Moline is back up. Spent another season with the Twins as well. Parts of three years the Bigs. I think it's fair having a coach that played in the bigs as a catcher is the one that's doing the pitch calling. <laughs> you think he's not looking at these hitters knowing what they're looking for, Goodness. what to expect. One two from Anderson. Using the off speed, that one yanked foul. So the count's still one and two. Three strikeouts for Anderson. Well, Almost one time through the order. And you're seeing them certain pitches, and that's where you get it from right there. With Steve Holmes, he's the one that's doing the pitch calling. Well, guess what? That's a major league catcher out there calling pitches, which means he's going to be able to kind of trick hitters. Hey, you're thinking the off speed's coming. Here's that fastball in. What's Jackson Green thinking now at the count two and two? Well, I mean, you just got that elevated fastball. Again, he could be coming with an off speed, but then, of course, you got Steve Holmes who's calling pitches. And guess what Steve Holmes is saying? I'm going to throw that elevated fastball. I can come back here with this fastball in like he's done already today. With Simmons at first, Anderson fires. Got him again. Four strikeouts for Anderson. And there it is, just like we talked about. He's done it already today. And here's here's that fastball. It's right there. It's an elevated fastball. That ball's supposed to be in. It was supposed to be a fastball in, but he elevated. It was middle in. That elevation on it with that late life is what gets those hitters to swing under it. Anderson's had one strikeout in the prior six and two-thirds innings of his young 2020 season. Four today. Now Doug Kirkland, the catcher. That's foul. A freshman from Orlando. He gives Matthew Nelson a day off. Counts nothing at two. Nelson has been has been getting every single one of those games as you talked about. You know, he's played yesterday, long drive coming in today. Coach said, Hey, let's sit you down. We got Georgia Tech coming in this weekend. We need you for those series. Let's get Doug Kirkland in there. Who's having hey, he's got a couple of that bats hitting four hundred on the season. Let, let him let the freshman get some game in. And for a freshman like Kirkland, second game of a back-to-back, -back, perhaps that Sunday game of the series, those are the days you have to know to be ready for your opportunities. Well, I'm sure, too, that Mike Martin Jr., the coach, definitely gave him the warning yesterday, hey, this is what's going to be happening, so get ready. Anderson gave up the homer, but he struck out three in a row to retire the side. Reese Albert going down in the zone. Strikes this one to tie things up at one. Oh. 